Hello all, welcome back to RCPL and today I'll be talking about the man, the player who, who was in crisis himself a couple of months back when he got injured in an IPL game and the news was that he might miss the World Cup due to that injury and now he has become the crisis man for Team India. Yeah guys, I'm talking about KL Rahul and the, fun, and the story of com his comeback, right? And it's been a year of KL Rahul, the 2023 year, it's been his. So I will discuss few points here. So the number one point will be he becomes uh, this is his first year where he has scored more than 1000 runs in ODI cricket in the calendar year that is 1060 runs in 2023 and what a year it has been for him in the white ball cricket if you look at his world cup fantastic world cup uh, playing under pressure in that number five role and wicket keeping and he just scored uh, lots of runs right around 400 runs in the middle order he had a fantastic asia cup brilliant century against pakistan so his ODI game especially batting and number 5 has gone to next level just the calmness the composure he brings to the middle order the way he wicket keeps the way he thinks about the DR decision the calls he just never gets uh, out of his control right so he is just calm and composed and what a fantastic year he has had with India in the white ball format and if you look at his performance yesterday what a fantastic century he's still number 8 test century and uh, I feel that was one of the best test centuries I have seen from KL Rahul. What a brilliant innings in that pitch. India was struggling against that pace attack of South Africa in that pitch. And the way he got those runs, right? Free flowing, attacking strokes. He just so clear in his mind. And I think he is just uh, doing comebacks in all formats. And just that T20 game is pending. And that also will follow because he has again taken a huge step where we were discussing when uh, Devdut Padikal got traded to LSG that where will Devdut Padikal play because he had the same issue in RR where he was playing in the middle order but the news has come in that KL Rahul has decided he will play in the middle order and all the more that trade makes sense right uh, Devdut Padikal will play at the top and KL Rahul play in the middle order I think he has made up his mind his position is in the middle order and he is going to play for India in the middle order and and that's what uh, makes him a great player and he's sacrificing his top order spot to, to make sure he uh, com makes a comeback in the T20 international side for India as well that to playing in the middle order so that's an inter interesting scenario right uh, usually player uh, blossoms or uh, players get their uh, career on roll when they go from middle order to top order but if you look at uh, KL Rahul it's been little uh, vice versa where he's come from top order to middle order and is blossoming in the middle order so that's very rare and that's very difficult to do because if you look if you ask any player uh, they will tell you it's easiest position to bat is top of the order if you ask middle order batsman or if you ask top order batters they will tell you uh, to bat at the top it's very easy to score runs and it's very very difficult to bat in the middle order especially number four number five because you have to play according to the situation you have to play as per the team you have to play as per the conditions, ballers or spinners, you get a lot more scenarios in the test cricket, you get second new ball. So all the scenarios and he has taken that responsibility head on and he wants to be that middle order uh, ball for India and he's proven to be the excellent wicket keeper as well, right? He wicket kept in uh, all the uh, World Cup games and what a performance he had taking brilliant catches. I think he's, in, he's just gone from strength to strength and it's been a story of KL Rahul in 2023 right and it brings uh, ex uh, perfectly into the next point that will he be the captain of India in the future or do you guys want him to be the captain for India after Rohit Sharma and um, I am certainly a fan of him and I am a fan of KL Rahul being captain after Rohit Sharma because I think if you look at Rohit Sharma and KL Rahul there are a lot of similarities he has the same uh, calmness and composure as Rohit Sharma and He's a wicket keeper as well and now he's batting in the middle order. So I think if you look at all around, I think he's a perfect suitable for that captaincy position. I'm not a huge fan of Hardik Pandya captaincy. I will go hugely in favor of KL Rahul being captain. Put in the comment section guys, what do you feel? Should a KL Rahul be uh, the captain of India after T20 World Cup? I certainly feel Rohit Sharma will step down after this T20 World Cup coming this year. So. Comment guys, put in the comment section, get involved. Was it the year of KL Rahul? Uh, what a comeback story it has been. Comment uh, which was your uh, favorite innings. And uh, 
do certainly think he should be the captain of india going forward i am in that uh like i am in favor of kl rahul being captain so put put in the comment section guys get involved i just want to highlight uh the class of this man it's been a year of kl rahul and what a story it has been right and i just wanted to bring this out uh through a video just in support of for him because a lot of people were just lagging off and there were a lot of uh what you can say a lot of not hate but lot of uh, trolls lot of a uh, lot of unprofessional comments towards him right his career all that and he has uh, given the perfect answer with uh, the bat and he's doing in all formats now and boy oh boy that innings yesterday i think it was one of his great innings and he has all the eight test centuries and yesterday that eighth century was his best century and he has scored in all um, sena nations right so i think he's a crisis man for india now as rightly india one of the india coaches said so i think he's a perfect fit for india captain that's my vote for him so come and get involved guys